What's wrong with whiskey on a Wednesday? What up and welcome to this week's episode of the Whiskey Sour Hour. I'm half your host, Evan, a.k.a. The Movie Martyr, and here with me... What? <laughs> Sorry, bro. What? My bad. <laughs> what? That one was do good. Do it again, do it again. Fuck. You were good. That was a good volume. I felt like you sped through that hoe. Huh? Let's run it. Let's run it. What are we running? The Whiskey Sour Hour. Get a Peyton. That's your nose. So blow your shit out. Ready? One. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. It's cool. Cheers, cheers. Guys, everybody, cheers. Cheers. What's wrong with whiskey on a Wednesday? What up and welcome to this week's episode of the Whiskey Sour Hour. I'm happy host Evan, a.k.a. The Movie Martyr, and you might have heard of my next guest, Saman Lasan. Saman. A.K.A. Saman Almighty. Almighty, Almighty. What does Almighty mean again? We haven't talked about that in a minute. You're wearing my merch today. I don't omnipotent. Know if omnipotent. Yeah. You need a shirt that says omnipotent. <laughs> that might not fit on a shirt all the way across. <laughs> but no, yeah, yeah. Rocking the martyr merch, yeah, man. Yeah. The movie martyr, right? Yeah, Movies that was matter. A, that was Check it out. The varsity. Yo, that was yeah, back yeah. in the day. But it's yeah, still man. a good one. It's no, one of the best I ones. still rock this shit, man. Big embroidery. Big shit. Give back to the community. Expensive embroidery on that one. Back in it this week. Back from the Thanksgiving travels. You have anything hot and heavy from the Thanksgiving travels? Because I got one hot and heavy. I don't want to blow your thunder, but I... uh... Nah, smooth travels, man. The drive wasn't too bad at all, to be honest. Um, But the food was great. The time was well spent. Oh, yeah. And it was just a great time to be around fam and just lay oh, yeah. back and enjoy the days off. Man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Time was spent. I like that. My time there was spent well. We made all the travels to all the places yeah. we were trying to go. It was good. But the way back got me thinking. I got a question for you. Do you think when dogs, like of any kind, like a regular dog, like Pomeranian, Shih Tzu, all these other dogs. Yeah, little dogs. Big dogs, too. But any dog other than a German Shepherd. Do you think when they see a German Shepherd, they're like, oh, a cop? Oh, a cop? What do you think? As a dog? Probably not. Really? Yeah. Because not all German Shepherds. Nah, German Shepherds, I would say that, no, they wouldn't be able to differentiate the difference. Yeah, they're probably just like, another. <laughs> the <difference. laughs> they're just like, another dog. I feel you. I feel you. I only <laughs> ask that, though, because you don't understand halfway through the story, but... Got pulled over, my friend. Jesus, on the way man. Back. Steady getting pulled over. On the way Nah, back. that's steady pulling over. Not man. steady getting pulled over, but it's we can't seem to go through a full length period. of like whiskey episodes. Like a decent period. Yeah, without getting some kind of hiccup. And there's definitely a hiccup. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Man. Too. And then uh so I'm I'm driving probably <laughs> Bless you, I saw it coming. Uh, <laughs> I'm driving. I don't know how far I was. I'm probably like hour and a half out of OKC. Oh, so you were going. So you got pulled over going to Texas. No, no, no. Coming back. Coming back. Oh, coming this is back. like on the way back yesterday, and like literally. So you're about halfway going back home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm coming back probably an hour and a half out, and I'm actually on the phone with my dad, who like called me about some of the Christmas lights. Uh-huh. And he's asking some questions about where we left some shit. And I was like, no, 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 I think it's over here. I think it's over there. And I'm coming in this left lane. I'm, you know, we're passing some people. We're not going fast. We're just passing some people. And there's probably, I want to say, six cars in the, in the, you know, vicinity that you can calculate this situation, whatever you want to call it, you know, yeah. that, in, that are going to affect the situation. It's probably about six cars. Three in this lane, three in this lane. These three cars are gonna come up and pass these cars. They're just in a passing lane. Yeah. These three cars are staying. Yeah. There's a cop up here. Like on, behind the bushes and shit. In between some stuff on a bridge and blah, blah, blah. Behind one of the pillars of the bridge. And he's doing this maneuver. I guess maybe he was facing that way and he was turning around to come face this way. But what it looked like was he was about to come out in front of us. Like he was about to come and get in yeah. and start going. And so everybody that was in this left lane, including me. Because he was murdered. driving down like the side of the lane. He, he was in the grass. He looked like he was about to come out though. And he's like, you know, 200 feet up. And we're like, you know, this way. And I don't know. Everybody thought that he was going to like come out. So we all just merged like together. Yeah. And literally, I don't know what it was. Everybody was close, bro. Everybody was close. 
because we all thought he was just like getting out of the way. Like if an ambulance was yeah, coming yeah. or some shit, like you think he's about to turn on the lights, so you get out the way. I thought it was a mistake. I shouldn't have got out the way. He stayed there. He didn't come out any, so we all passed him. Everybody passed him in the right lane. And then he comes up. I'm still on the phone with my dad. He comes up, squeezes in behind me, and then throws his lights on. I'm like, oh, no, no. I'm like, Dad, I think I'm getting pulled over. I think he, I'm getting pulled over. He's like, you think over. or you know? And I'm like, yeah, I'm getting pulled over. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Pull this some on. Fuck. fuck. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, oh, okay. So immediately, radio goes off. I'm like, put the phone in there. He's still on the phone, but I like put it in the seat. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Just waiting, waiting. Roll this window down and the other one just so he could choose which yeah. window you want to come up to, officer. You, you just, you know, come yeah. on. I'm being real respectful. And he comes up and he's like, first thing he says, you're not getting a ticket. I'm like, ears perk up because I'm like, I love to hear that. Yeah. That's the thing they never say. They hardly ever say that. But you're not getting a ticket. I'm like, oh, thank God. Okay, here we go. Yes, officer, what, what seems to be the problem? He's like, well, when everybody merged back there, you were just really close to that other car. And I was like, yes, officer, I just didn't know if you were going to come, you know, try to explain yeah. it respectfully, but, like, understand that I'm in the wrong. And, like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, bro, yeah, everybody was. Like, look behind me. The guys behind me were close. Like, everybody's close because we thought you were coming yeah. out. But, like, okay. But let him say what he's going to say. I was like, yeah, because I agree. Like, I was close. Everybody was close. And then uh, <laughs> he's like, you hop out the vehicle so I can print this ticket with, or print this warning with it? And I'm like, mm, out of the vehicle? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> like, oh, no. Mine starts racing, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. Is he saying that? And is he being truthful? Is he saying yeah. that to buy time? What is, the, what is the scenario that's about to break down? Everything's going through my head. Walk back to his car. He gets in. He's like, yeah, yeah, just hop in the front. I'm like, okay, hop in the front, like. <sighs> hop in the front. Open the door, right? Yeah. Hop in the front, sit down. Handcuffs are like on the floor, just like laying there. Like if it was your car and you just like threw your McDonald's bag in the floor, passenger, yeah. just like, I'm like, that's nice, okay. Sitting there, his computer and shit's here. He's like, starts fucking with it. I don't know if he's typing a warning or if he's like hitting up his homies, like come SWAT, come, come on everybody. <sighs> I'm like, oh great, here we go. And. I, I, mine stops racing for a second because I hear something. I hear a <laughs> fucking canine, bro. Dang. I was like, oh no. I was like, oh Dang. no. I was like, oh no. Canine, Couldn't think anything, but oh no. I'm like, you know, and then <laughs> a quick turn, and it was, it was yeah. very, it was very obvious that I noticed, and uh. He's talking to me about like what I'm doing here, blah, 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 what, you know, moving stuff. Cause I had all this stuff from traveling. They give me all the stuff to put in the set and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, should I like pull out my phone and tell him I'm good? Should I like, where should I put my hands in this scenario? Dang. Cause I'm in his car. Like I'm not going to put my hands on your dash, yeah, but like, fuck? where do I put my hands? Bro, literally put my hands like Abe Lincoln. I'm like, I'm just going to sit like this. I struck that Abe Lincoln post from the chair. I was like, it came in handy. I was just like, I'm going to stick right here. Yeah. I'm sitting there, dog right here, him typing on the computer. His printer's broken, bro. He's buying all this time, his printer's broken. He can't print this shit. He spins his laptop around. He's like, my printer's broken, but I'm like, bro, it's better than what I got. I can't, my computer's unconnected in the back. If I could connect my shit, like, check out my portfolio. Yeah. Like, hey, like come on, bro, yeah. we would never stop. But yeah. he's doing all that shit, shows me this warning, says it's not going to go on the record, turns his computer. Let's me have a whatever a second of composure or whatever, yeah. and then once the car stopped, he was like, "You're good to go," and I was like, "Okay, thank you." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah." So uh, just wait for and like he kept saying like wait for this car because like he waited for a car and then he said you're good to go. Then he waits for another car and he's like, "Okay, you can get out now." And I'm like, "All right, like yeah, I'm not gonna get hit by a fucking car, but like thanks for the warning." I get out, walk up to my car, and I'm like, "Do I go first or does he?" Do you know you what go the, first. we go first? Okay. That's sketchy, but I guess it makes sense. Yeah. I wanted to wait for him to go. <laughs> I was like, you can go first. Like, yeah, honestly. I just didn't know what the etiquette was. Because when you've been pulled yeah. over, they gave you a ticket. Yeah, I got but a ticket. But then 
Yeah, but we probably ain't got to teach it. Did they, they, they stayed both times while you went? Yeah. You think it's because they're, like, seeing if you're going to pull off fast, or? I don't know. <laughs> you're, <laughs> how but stupid usually, would that be? You're supposed to go first, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, when I'm nervous, I don't think correctly. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I was like, hang Dang. on now. Bro, I wasn't even doing anything wrong, and I was nervous as fuck. Like, I'm, like, sitting there, like, please, dear Lord. Like, because it's not, it's not crazy, but, like, you see the videos. I know. It, I've seen the videos. It's a thing. But it's not like, I don't know. I'm not you like worried about that. it in my everyday life. But then when you're in, in front of the situation, yeah, it's different. it starts to be in the back of your head a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> but so now I'm looking at other dogs like, hey, next K-9 time you see a German a Shepherd, I know how you feel, you have bro. to be careful. Yeah, bro. Let me, I mean, shit. Trigger <laughs> on whatever. Is their trigger like super I don't know what they're noticeable? Trigger. Is it's like probably like a out there like a usually speed probably like a bark or like a tap or some shit type shit. He's doing shit. It would like I don't know. <laughs> a little tap on the shoulder. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So okay, we didn't talk about it before we left because we recorded the weekend before the week of Thanksgiving, and then you yeah. had a job interview. I did. Man. And mm-hmm. then I hear there was some ups and downs and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Some stuff we got to talk about with that. But run me through start to finish. I want to see what, first of all, what it wasn't a job interview that you that they came to you. You went looking for. You applied, right? Yeah, I applied. Okay. So what made you apply to this place, this place that you applied to? This nameless FSB? place. No, this nameless place. Uh, this nameless place. Uh, <laughs> I'll bleep. But yeah. it's only, that uh, won't give much. Yeah. You can't really find much about that. But um, what was it? Why? Um, I don't know. I think it like struck out to me just like the type of industry that it was in, honestly, and then where the location was. He was looking for some change. Yeah, I was looking for some change. Because uh, everybody, there was a lot of turnover in my company and my team specifically at where I'm at now but um and I was like trying to find more of a team-based environment type shit Mm. but he wants his little accountant family (laughs) yeah type shit or at least have some like or I run my own team honestly well and Uh, surprisingly you've been at the place that you've been at for a year and like not as an accountant for that long though facts because I was doing a lot more AP sp- I was pretty much doing AP stuff. But there was times where I did help a little bit on bank re- or just balance sheet recons. No AP in the plug? Is yeah, AP. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Um, but interview, yeah. Interview went well. The offices were cool. Um, the people, one of them was there for like 30 years. Like worked his way up to like, he started in the mail room. Yeah. Worked his way up until like where he 30 was. Thirty years, though. Yeah, thirty right. years. Jesus. Talk about accountant family. And it was like a team of like four people, but only three of them were there, so it was like three people on one interview. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. So, I will break down kind of your after thoughts on it after the fact. But yeah, what is in your line of work? It's normal to be interviewed by multiple people yeah I would when we say. go pitch our projects to people or we go pitch our contracts yeah. it's very likely that to get them to sign the person that's signing the contract is a different person than the person that we're working directly with so there's automatically two three four sometimes five people in the room how do you is it intimidating there is something that you have to work through i don't think it's intimidating to us anymore but what was that work through how do you feel I feel like it's a little intimidating at first, but honestly, if you just have the confidence and like you're just self because and what you bring to the table, then you shouldn't worry about it. And if they every rejection is for a protection, so ooh, I like the yeah, rhymes though. Hang on, yeah. What? Every so rejection, even if they, rejections even if they for they a protection. Don't want you, it, may, it wasn't. There's was something better. Okay. Type shit. But um, but the interview went well, like. So it was like so they're looking to hire a new pe- person to bring on because there's like only five people, four people or whatever. 
Yeah. But they asked, like, why did you apply type shit. Yeah, all the um, basic ones. He's got his answers unlocked by bit, now. Yeah, like, pretty simple uploading. stuff. What do you look for in your, like, managers? Um, asked um, some technical accounting questions. Yeah. And then, what did like what do you back to the confidence thing? Where do you think it? What to, what did it take to break that? Like or to gain to? I think it's just knowledge of the thing. Knowledge of the thing, and then like of like whatever the subject yourself. is. Yeah, if, if especially in an interview. Yeah, yeah. especially in an interview. It's like they don't want you like give good eye contact and shit. Obviously, um, don't want to be like have good tonality. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't want to be like. Whispering, like, well, it's everything because you're trying to present yeah. yourself. Yeah, you're trying to present yourself. Thirty minutes, what, twenty minutes, How literally like minutes? thirty minutes. Yeah, what'd you wear? Suit, like not a full, suit. full suit. I was like, like not wearing like I was like a maybe like a blazer. Yeah, tie shirt, there or no tie. tie? I did have a tie on. Okay, so yeah, pants pretty dressed up. Dress pants. More dressed up than more dressed just up. Than, dressed yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Professional casual type vibe almost. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. So it's confident in what you bring to the table, man. And then they, yeah, offered me the position not too long after that. Hell yeah! Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Before we go any, do we still have the stash down here? We got cans that was what's this can? Say? Cheers to dots. that. Cheers to that. Yeah, but remember the cheers dot. Cheers to another one. I, mine doesn't have a dot. Did you have a dot? Yeah, mine's yellow. Last week with the dots. Yeah, but last yeah, week cheers with to that. Cheers to that. He got offered the position. Offered the position, guys. Bro, what is with this? Every time I fucking it's you stupid hit me with this. That happened last week too. Okay. Yeah, I got the job but, offer. But then. But. All of this within a week span, guys. Yeah, all of it within a week span. I looked at it. I didn't think it was that great of an offer. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I was nah. It was an okay offer, but um, I wanted to counter it. I wanted something. It's like in Yu-Gi-Oh when more, you put that something card else. sideways. I was looking for something else. Put that card sideways in Yu-Gi-Oh. He said it's time to duel. And yeah, then, I was trying to duel. Yeah, and then what they say? And then they had a difference, so it was gonna say they keep, countered the counter. They countered the counter <laughs> okay. with a. Um, same base pay, but they would make the difference that I wanted as my base pay as a sign-on bonus. But that sign-on bonus, you would have to work there for 12 months or you would have to reimburse that amount back to the company. Okay. I don't see a problem with that because you were going to work there for more than 12 months. Yeah, I would have worked there for more than 12 months as well. But then what happened? Then I put my resignation in. I sent it to my controller, and then he was, like, freaking out probably. <laughs> and, like, Fuck. Fuck, freaking out because there's been a lot of people, oh, like, man. leaving and stuff. And then he called me probably, like, a couple hours later. It's like, what is there, like, we can do to keep you to stay type shit. We're so thankful to have you around. Yeah, we, like, need you type shit, yeah. pretty much. And I was like, this is it. This is a number type gave shit. gave you that I love you Do 3, what 000. you need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I'll consider <laughs> staying, you know what I mean? <laughs> so then he said that was approved for whatever I wanted as my salary increase. Um, and that would just take place of what my... Uh, uh, one year re- review would have been as an accountant. Interesting, interesting. Well, congratulations, brother. A year in, so I decided as an to accountant, stay, obviously. and he's he's locked in. Mm-hmm. Little family of accountants, mm-hmm. learning new shit. So, not too far from the new studio. Not, not too far at all. Not too far at all. Same skyline. Maybe like a couple of football fields. Yeah, the same skyline. <laughs> um, what do you? Yeah, but you're happy with it the way that it all worked out, though. Yeah, I'm genuinely happy with how yeah. it worked out. It's I know cool there to have like little, Connor and shit there. Yeah, there's a little stressful. Week but it or still two gets there, a little stressful here and there. But nothing that, like, accounting, it's fixable if shit gets fucked. Man. Yeah. It's about getting this shit out on time, though. That's <laughs> another thing. Yeah, for me, it's always like I like I'm fine with known stresses. If I know it's gonna be a stress, yeah. it's fine. But it's the unknown, like of. 
like you know okay i'm gonna be at this place i know the stresses that come with this place i'm gonna be there for a while mm-hmm. but the unknown of am i gonna leave this place behind in a week or two or am i gonna be at a new place in a month yeah and, uh, that's the stress that's and the i could see you dealing with it and i was like oh man like yeah. that's the, un- the unknown yeah. very stressful very stressful yeah um but yeah congrats on that let's see i did want to say <laughs> before we went too far my road trip incident made me question your car didn't have any trouble. You took your car or mama's car on the road trip? We took mom's car. Oh, okay, okay. Your car cracked me up. I'm not going to take my car on the road trip. <laughs> it at all. cracked me the fuck up, bro. We were driving back and forth uh, for, I guess we were probably still moving stuff for the stew. But you were like sitting there. We were both in your car and you go, My RPM supposed to be at zero if I'm stopped. <laughs> but I think the truth is, it's not. The truth is, it, I don't think that it's supposed to go all the way down one. to zero. It stays around one. Because RPM is like... But your shit was at like two and a half. Nah, it wasn't not going, at two and a half. But, but I'm saying when we were going, when we were moving. We were going, yeah. When we were moving. And it's like making this noise and shit. And so like clearly he's paying attention to it and shit. And then what do we... We pull up to like a stop sign or a street light or something. Yeah. And you stopped and the music was on or something, but... You like turn and you're like, you know, if your RPM is supposed to be the way you said it, you know, if your RPM is supposed to be at zero, if you're stopped, like, <laughs> I was like, you know, yeah. I don't know unless yeah. I'm in my car. Like I yeah, couldn't I didn't give pay you a attention solid until answer. that. I mean, you never know until it's messed up. It's just one of those things. Yeah. But yeah, no, no road trips for <laughs> Bubbly's car. <laughs> yeah, Bubbly's car, man. That's funny. That's funny. Her car's I'm looking to cop something new towards the end of this year, man. So, Heck yeah. Says it once an episode. That. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I've been saying that. But we'll see, man. Manifest. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. But yeah, um, but yeah, the car parked at, RPM parked at zero just cracked me up. Because, like, if there's anything that encompasses, like, how the fuck we think about cars and, like, what we're dealing with with our whole car situation and shit. It's yeah. me getting pulled over and then there's a K9 in the back and then you sitting K9. there. Is my RPM zero? <laughs> like, I don't know. We're going to try. You want to talk about the Freddy's mishap? Yeah, the Freddy's mishap. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have a Freddy's, but they're pretty worldwide. Not in the world, like countrywide. Well, so I can it tell it you for sure it's not countrywide. I but don't think they have it's, decent amount of locations, probably in the Midwest. I would say Midwest, maybe even just a southern thing. I don't maybe. Know. But Freddy's Steak Burgers and Custard. You guys got Freddy's? Shit's fire. Um, He's biased. But anyway, we decided there. we He's were going to go there for lunch at some point. Because we were doing some stuff for the pod, probably. Probably. But we pulled up there. It was not like lunchtime. It was like in between. So it wasn't like super busy or anything. It was kind of like. No, no, no. This was. You what had time the job was this? So you got oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. So like. So you, it was like in between. It was like four. It was like three, four. So it was like a time where like it wasn't lunch. Was really it was out. People were about leaving. We were the only people in the building. Only people in the building. Walk up in there. Dude's, like, on the phone, like, franticking. Not, like, franticking, but, like... I'll show you what he's doing. He's doing this. He's doing this. You know how when people stop and then they do that with their toes? Yeah. Yep, it was that the whole time. Yeah, yeah, he's doing this and stuff. We walk in, like, literally standing in front of the counter. He doesn't even say anything. Um, He's just on the phone. We're just making a decision. By the time somebody comes up there, we're just, like... Is he going to order, take our order, or is somebody going to come up here? You know, it's funny. Until you said that, I didn't even think about it. We took a good minute to decide what the fuck we wanted. Yeah, because I I'm didn't talking know. five, six minutes. And mine was, we... like, hella specific. I like mine. Not hella specific, but I ordered it kind of different. Because you used to work there. Yeah. <laughs> so I like mine. What, my burgers a certain way there. Yeah. But still, enjoy those burgers to this day. And their fries are good. And, and the greens, I just like it. But, um, yeah, so we ended up placing our orders and shit. Food was good. The food was good. It wasn't, like, bad service or bad food. But I would just say the professionalism could have been a little better in terms of the structure. Well, we got to explain what's wrong, wrong, though. Because, like, the server was down. But the thing is, it was manager, kinda, It right? was, like, the receipt machine. Or, no, it was a POS machine. I think, yeah, yeah. But the, it was the manager, right? The manager's yeah, sitting there, manager. and he's on the phone. And, like, I get it. You're the guy that's going to handle it. You really can't 
focus on anything else until that's, that's handled. Fixed, yeah. But like, you know how like, if I was on the phone when you came in today, you show up to record, and if I'm on yeah. the phone, which happens sometimes, that's like me not dapping you up or like being like, what's up? It's like me walking by and like, almost like shoulder checking you. Like, it's mm-hmm. just like, mm-hmm. I walk into your place okay. and you just, you make me feel uninvited. It was like, the, yeah, that, was, yeah, the, yeah, that yeah. was the vibe. It was like, he didn't want us in there. And then they didn't have a lot of like drive through shit going on. So it nah. wasn't like they were like slammed, but there were a lot of people in the kitchen. Just like slacking off. So it was loud. Like, it was like, nobody was in the dining area. Like we weren't, nobody was eating in there. So it wasn't like loud regular loud it was like kitchen loud like you could hear the kitchen because out here's quiet and they're being yeah. extra loud so like you've got all that going on behind him and then he's just got this like uninviting tone and then what happened was like throughout the course of us ordering two different people took our orders and yeah. then like by the time that we went back up to go what we'll finish this order three four people five people took our orders in total like, it was ridiculous. Yeah, it was weird. Like, there was one person to do every other thing. Like, what are we all doing? So then that kind of explains why what's about to get messed up gets messed up. What did you order on your ice cream thing that you got? Because I got some ice cream before we even sat down. Like, I ordered it with my burger. We sit down to eat the burger. They say, tell me when you're ready for your ice cream will make yeah, it for he, you. Yeah, he ordered it on hold. So, so you then, would just go to I didn't even say, I didn't know they did that. I was just yeah. going to order it and have it there, which is, I should have just done it. But I didn't know they do that shit. So they're like, well, he's like, if you want, I'll hold it for you. I'm like, what's that? And he's like, well, when you tell me, I'll make it here and then you can just have it after your burger. I'm like, that sounds phenomenal. That sounds yeah. great. Like I'm being waited on. So like, okay. I'll come yeah, back he up ordered, here. what did he order? Uh, the pumpkin pie. Yeah, the pumpkin yeah, yeah. pie. Yeah, yeah, Fuck, man. Now I'm mad again. Hold up. Order my pumpkin pie thing. Yeah, so and you get the I go back pie up concrete. there. I'm like, I'm ready for my pumpkin pie pon- concrete. <laughs> and I come this back guy. to the table. And he's like, why and is he taking so long? I didn't say that. You said that. You were like, he's taking a long time for your thing. And I was like, you know, he is taking a long time for my pumpkin pie concrete. You yeah, because I would know. So you should know how long it yeah. should take me to him to make it. So I guess I'll go up there then. You think I should go up there? You're like, yeah, go up there. So I go up there. And yeah, I was he, like, I he didn't even say one. anything to me. The guy didn't say anything to me. He's like, you should go up there. So I went up there. I'm like standing because nobody's up there except for the guy on the fucking phone. And he's not doing shit. Uninviting, not doing shit. <laughs> I'm like up there, up there waiting. And then some other guy comes up and he's like, what are you waiting on? Yeah. I'm like... My concrete. I'm like, my concrete. He starts taking my order. You saw what was happening, but I didn't understand what was happening. So then you came in like uh, like do. Captain Almighty <laughs> to save the day. He said, just another day at Freddy's. No, he already ordered the pumpkin pie concrete. It's on hold. Don't ring him up. That's it behind you. He needs to finish it and then hand it to him. Yeah. And then the other dude that didn't want to say anything because he comes knew what was happening late. comes up late as fuck. <laughs> We're out of the pumpkin pie concrete shit. Yeah. I guess like the, the pie. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. So we're was, out of this shit. Yeah. Does so I'm like, have any fucking well, problem. I'm a grown ass man. I'm not a toddler. You could just walk up here and tell me. You don't have to be a yeah. bitch. Like, <laughs> fucking hiding behind <laughs> your fucking manager that. on yeah, the phone man, and honestly. shit. And then, uh, so I'm like, that's fine. I'll just, because you're going to give me a free one, he said. I'm like, I'll just get a different one. Yeah, he gave you an upgraded size. If he hadn't said that, I would have just not gotten one. I just gotten a refund. So then again, that's the second time that they, I didn't put it on hold. They offered it. I didn't necessarily say the free one. They offered it. Yeah. Because they offered the free one. What'd you do? You ordered one. Yeah, I ordered one. Because you were one. like, well, now they're going to make you a fresh one. We're going to have to wait. I'll get one too now. Because yeah. you're not just going to get in and leave. Yeah. I'll get one. What did you order? I got strawberry cheesecake. Orders the strawberry cheesecake. How long did we fucking wait? Now we're both standing up, now just standing. I'm both, yeah, now I'm waiting. Now we're just standing. We didn't sit back down after he, this. He starts looking around again. I'm like, what's do, what is he doing? Comes back, says How we're long, out of cheesecake. How long? How Maybe long? like 
couple minutes, two, three minutes. Two, three minutes? What are you in the walk-in looking? Then comes out, We're comes out. and tell me like, we don't have that. Then the manager, other look? manager lady comes out of nowhere and says, no, we have those. This is over here. The kid doesn't even look right to That's find out right. where he was. Then gets the cheesecake and makes it and we leave. So you think they had the pumpkin pie there? Nah, probably not. That's L. That's but fucking. He doesn't know nah. where he's looking at. It's in the freezer if he's looking like me. <laughs> Let me back down. Or if, sure. because they would prep him because they would put him in those cups. That shit just cracks me up because like when he started walking up, I told you I was like, watch, he doesn't have it either, and you were like, he doesn't have what? I was like, your cheesecake, because he was like walking back and forth uh, behind the manager, and then he walked up and was like, we're out, and you were like. What did you say? That shit cracked me up. You were like, are you kidding? Loud, like, to him. He was like, are you kidding? (laughs) Yeah, I'm like, I don't think he's kidding, bro. What the heck? Oh, man. You're like, I used to work here, bro. You should treat me better than this. (laughs) Like, what is this? I got my two-year pin, man. (laughs) (laughs) Wear that shit around. Yeah, you know how much work I got to get this shit? Nah. You ever have anything happen like that, though, when you were, like, working there? Nah, not really. People, like, complaining if it was wrong or, like, stuff like that. I mean, I understand where they're coming from because, like, I had that happen. Like, not that with a customer, but, like, have I... I don't know I don't know if we talked about it on the pod, but have I told you that Freebird story? Like, when no. that shit really got fucked? Like, the first time I was in charge story? Damn, okay. Nah. Or you might remember it. Okay, so this is like back in the Freebirds days when I just gotten kitchen manager. Like I was just yeah. given the position. Had not been left alone at the restaurant because like you could be kitchen manager, but you're not managing the shift yet. So this is before I'm shift manager. Yeah. Just managing kitchen on somebody else's shift. This dude had to leave to go get money at the bank, do some kind of swap, do some drop off for food. I don't know. Anyway. Mm-hmm. He has to leave the restaurant, the manager, for yeah. like what was going to be like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I don't know. He looks at me and is like, you're in charge. And I was like, you're kidding, right? And he was like, no. And I was like, but Dude. it's lunch rush. And he was like, yeah, yeah, that, you're in charge. And I was like, that's like, I got my yeah. kitchen shit to do, bro. That's not good. Leaves me in charge. And I'm not even kidding. Within 60 seconds, real time. Somebody walks in with a clipboard, and that's never a good sign in the kitchen industry. Clipboard. Yeah. He walks in with a clipboard and then a little Frisco fucking jacket. And I was like, oh, shit. The city's here. That's not good. Uh, City comes in to do their health inspection. Yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. We're healthy. I know everything's clean. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. It's just the hassle that he's going to be here, and I know that we're going to have to stall him until he gets back because I can't sign the paperwork saying that he was here because I'm not the shift manager. So I'm like, that's kind of sketchy because in my head, I'm like, ah, worst problem is he's going to have extra time here. He's going to be have stuck here until the manager gets back. So he might be able to find something stupid, right? This dude comes back in like five minutes after like looking around and is like, I need you to, he, he asked who was in charge because I didn't have a manager shirt on. I'm not managing right now. He's like, who's in charge? Everybody looks at me. I'm like, oh no. I guess no. I am in charge right now. He look. He walks over, looks me dead in my eyes, and goes, "I need you to lock the building, and we do not. We need to not serve any more customers." I was like, "What? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, why? What? Why? Like, what? Why? What is going on?" I'm like, "Call the manager. You got to tell him this. I can't lock the door without you. Like, I. What the fuck? Like, what yeah. is going on?" I, he didn't even tell me. He told the manager on the phone. We're gonna have to close the place. Your hot water doesn't stay hot enough for long enough. Hot water doesn't stay hot enough for long enough. What do you mean the hot water doesn't stay? Like, what do you mean? Hot water didn't stay hot enough for long enough in the middle of like February? Yeah, because it's the hot water. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just, that's how it works. So, like, he, he says that and then proceeds to take the little Allen wrench on his belt and lock the door. Locks the door with customers in the building, literally eating their food. Uh, on our lunch rush. People are coming up to the door like, 
Like, what the fuck? Uh, like, with customers in there, like, wondering what what's going fuck? on. I'm, like, freaking out. And he's, like, explain to me why this is a problem. It's, like, basically because if your hot water doesn't stay hot enough for long enough, then your dishes can't soak for the 30 minutes that they're supposed to soak for. Uh, so, like, but when you put that shit on a burner and then you boil water in it, like, the... you tell me that's not hot enough? It's boiling water. Like, okay, but whatever. So, anyway, he shuts the building, goes next door to eat at Muya. Wow. Goes man. next door. Because he, I, I told, like, basically, we have the maintenance guy on the way now. Muya? Because it's, yeah, he goes next door because he can't eat at our place. Oh, because it's not up to health. What? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Muya in so long. Right? It's good, though. But uh, the good milkshake. Um, so, anyway, he goes next door to eat. Because we now, it's an emergency. Now we have a maintenance guy on the way to fix the water. Something. He's going to try and like maneuver something. Mm-hmm. What this dude doesn't know is that we share water. It's the same fucking tank with Muya. It's that one on top of the building. I, I don't know if he knows that or not, but whatever. Yeah. So maybe they have a different sensor than ours. I don't know. But guy comes, our maintenance guy that we've known for two years at this point comes in and he's like, this dude's tripping, huh? And I'm like, yep, he's tripping, like, please fix it, like, so we can open back up, like, please. He comes in, he's like, trying to fix it, trying to figure it out, yada, yada. He basically told me that what he did was, like, just took off the, the thing that, like, tells you when it's too hot. So, like, it'll basically put out scorching water. So he was like, if he tries to test it, make sure you watch him test it and don't let him just, like, turn on all hot water because it's going to come out, like, steaming. Like, <laughs> basically, there's no, like, yeah. you have no control now. Like, the hot water makes it extremely yeah. hot. The cold water makes it extremely cold. It's yeah. all one or the other. So, like, he does that so we can open. Dude comes back from eating his lunch, puts the thermometer into the, the sink for, like, you know, whatever 60, 90 seconds it is that you have to have it hold over the temperature, yeah. right? And it clears, and he looks at me, and he's like, if you sign this, we can open back up. And I'm like, I don't read anything without signing it. And, like, that document was, like, the least legal document I've ever seen in my life. I should have never locked the door. Like, I could have opened it the second he locked it. He had no right to do that. Uh, Like, in order to lock the door, I should have signed that shit. Like, the whole paperwork was all fucked up. But in that moment, I'm sure that the customers there... We're like, what the fuck's going on? Where's my free burritos? Where's my? Because we're handing free burrito cards out well, to anybody that's coming over the door. So like, I know I'm gonna give them a free burrito, but like, your meal today is free. Your meal's getting comped. I'm gonna refund your shit. You're getting your free burrito now. Like, but they don't know that shit in the time. So like, I always try to. I'm sure you had some moments at well, Freddy's where customers are, you know, being, Karen's yeah, yeah. quote unquote, or mm-hmm. something like that. And it makes you understand in those moments. So I feel like we're kind of understanding people when it comes to the food industry. And even that, I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? We left and we're like, that was some of the yeah. weirdest shit I've witnessed at a fucking what are you, a fast food, but like sit down, I don't know. They're just tripping. Yeah. Like They're full tripping. on tripping, pacing back and forth, walking on his toes, looking like he's about to fall over. <laughs> Like, he was leaning on Yeah, everything. I don't know what he was doing. Like, full drunk or something. Yeah. That's not even drinking. Maybe. Uh, Wait, you say that. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he might have. He might have. Might have his whole ass podcast <laughs> in the back. <laughs> oh, man. Um, do you... Do you have any spots? I'm trying to think of the one that you just mentioned. Do you have any other spots that we need to try soon? Because you went to somewhere that I have not tried recently. The name was... Couscous. Yeah, Couscous. What is we it? could go to Couscous. What it's is not that? bad. Well, what, but what, what is it? It's like a Mediterranean place. They got gyros, burritos, tangerine. Gyros or gyros? I call it gyros. I believe it's gyros. You're right. Chance the Rapper, shout out to King Gyro. Um... Tangine plays like it's pretty good stuff, man. I would recommend it. And we, I have you tried basil? The place? Yeah. No. Basil's good too. I was like the there. thing, yeah. What what kind of food is basil? Same thing. Same thing. Kind of. Are there is there just a large Mediterranean. Mediterranean population here? Not not so much. 
<laughs> but I feel like there's a decent amount still. But they're both great places. How about Bohana's? Yeah. Have like you tried that, that one? Yeah, yeah. That one's the not, Hawaiian thing. Yeah, yeah. It's what like did a, you get? The burger with a pineapple ring on it. Or Instead whatever of it is the like bowl thing. Yeah. Really? They have a burger there. It's not a. It's not Bohana's? what you think of. It's not what you think of a burger. It's just the meat option. Uh. There's like a patty. Seriously. Patty or something. Yeah. Then it has like the mac and cheese slaw and like. No, comes with I the don't rice like and slaw. shit. If it's slaw, I got it all. Damn. I got when. Do you know, put it with cabbage and shit? No, I did not. Get yeah. That. No, 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 no. <laughs> Is it in the mac and cheese? No, it's like on the bottom. Like they put it there, like separately. Yeah. Like at the bottom of the bowl. Yeah. No, I don't like that. Or like plate or whatever. It was all right. Do you? Did you like? What did you get at? What was it called? Fucking. Fettuccine bowl at Cajun Corner? It was not the greatest, honestly. Yeah. I was kind of disappointed. It's too watery? Yeah, yeah. watery as fuck. Yeah. Get your sauce yeah. right, motherfucker. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> we got the <laughs> best Cajun of the Cajun best. Cajun. Got the best of the best food all week last week. We still got leftovers everywhere. But you, you got to call people out when you get the, yeah, people man. don't cut I it. I called them out because I wanted to try it. But the meat was good in it, I'm not going to lie, but the sauce, they kind of fucked it up. Mm. But Olive Garden's good, up. though. I do, I do like Olive Garden's Olive Garden. OG. Like, OG. No pun intended. The, no shrimp, the fried intended. shrimp with the bell peppers, that shit, guys. <laughs> with the bell peppers, that shit, guys. Do you think, uh, what, like, what is the, you just Red told sick. me about him. No, the, is it wait, the eggplant something? You said it, and you were like, it's an Olive Garden. We were just talking Egg about plants? it, bro, before we went on. Yams? No, we were just talking about it before we went on. It was the, it's at Olive Garden. You were like the eggplant, rab, it's like something ravioli. Like, I don't know. Nah, I did not say nothing yes, you like did. that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Hang on. We're going to think of it. Of... No, it was, like a, it was an appetizer or something like that. Yeah, the shrimp thing with the fried bell peppers. But it's bell peppers, not eggplants? Nah, but eggplant's good too, though. How is it? Is it shrimp, fried shrimp, shrimp or but boiled it comes shrimp? Fried shrimp. So it's crunchy on the outside. Yeah. And then is it, I guess what I'm trying to say, is the shrimp fried separately yeah. or is it fried together? Separately. And then the bell pepper is what? It's not fried? It's like, no, it's fried. And so it's crunchy on the outside? Yeah. That's weird, bro. Yeah, it's good. That's weird. It was some good shit. I thought it was like eggplant. And, and their it wasn't salad fried. is just good, huh? I thought it was like eggplant because it wasn't fried. I thought the bell nah. peppers were like in the eggplant. eggplant. Cauliflower? Fried cauliflower would be good too. What's called? Cauli- That's the white broccoli. White one. Yeah. I don't like that shit. <laughs> no. Nah. Ranch is good. Ranch is not the best. Spicy ranch? Spicy ranch is good. Regular ranch is not that good. I, eh, yeah. I, I like <laughs> Wingstop Ranch. People love Wingstop Ranch. I think it's is pretty that good top too. tier ranch? It's, is that like what people there, that like ranch decided? It's up there, yeah. What's your barbecue spot or barbecue, My barbecue sauce place of choice? What place has your favorite barbecue sauce? Probably Waterburger Honey Barbecue is really good. Honey barbecue is different than barbecue sauce. I it's still barbecue. I like honey barbecue. And uh, the honey barbecue from Chick Fil A is good too. Ah, uh, I don't just like barbecue. Or you like I honey... like Wendy's barbecue. Wendy's barbecue is up there, for sure. I like Wendy's for barbecue. Sure. Wendy's... I don't like McDonald's barbecue that much. Wendy's and Chick Fil A have pretty Chick Fil A's barbecue, though. barbecue. I haven't really tried much, but I like the honey bar. I just figured we got to talk about some good places before we, you know. Yeah. We're going to trash these others. Ish. I'm sorry. It's the but week after Thanksgiving. We had all this good food, and I'm, like, sitting here. Yeah, I'm seriously. always wondering. Yeah. When you, because it's the thing with, like, traveling. What did you, do you guys stop on the road or anything? Not really. We're yeah, trying so like, to just one get there. Yeah. 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 I'll try to sometimes, depending on what I'm doing or, like, the time of day. Like, if I know I'm going to pull up and do something. Yeah. Like, especially on my way home. 
I was, I was looking to get something on my way home to eat because I knew that we were going to do, we had, what did we do on Tuesday? We had, we just had a meeting. And so like a little into the year meeting, I knew that I wanted to get into that and I wanted to prep the office for everybody to have everybody over. And I was like, okay, I need to eat on the way in, but everything's like, I don't want to say shady. There's not that much variety here. Well, it's, it's not that at all. It's just like, I'm saying like after <laughs> the week of Thanksgiving, place. when you go back to like, oh, let me go find something to eat. Like you don't really, none of the sit down restaurants really make, you know, they don't make you hungry. And like, I mean, none of the fast food is going to compete at all, but it's just like, you know, like that's why you end up eating leftovers for so long. Cause yeah. it's just like, I'd rather eat this shit, but I had to get home to heat up the leftovers. So it was like, oh, I don't want to wait, but. Yeah. Fuck it. Ended up waiting. That was a good shit. Did you think it did you have anything last week after Thanksgiving that should have ended up on your tier list? Mm. If I could remember. It hasn't been that long. Nah, <laughs> I don't know. I would say no. Okay. Honestly. Dude, my dad fried a turkey. That's why I was talking about fried a fried turkey. turkey. But I didn't want to uh, mention it because I, I didn't want to jinx it. He ended up frying a turkey. For his first time this Thanksgiving. We've done it with our cousin and like it's You gotta have a big ass thing to He put did it, it in. with like a it was like a new thing. It didn't have oil in it. Really? He like air propane. fried propane. Fuck. It was like air fried but with propane. Propane. So in one of those big grill things? It went in its own grill thing. Oh. That mimicked the shape of those oil things. Oh, okay. So that you still had like the vibe of it. I got you. But much so safer. Oh, okay. So like, yeah, I, didn't, way I didn't have to worry about him blowing himself up. Like, yeah, I've seen and he was video. excited. You could tell he was excited doing it and shit. He was excited when he got it, but like, he was excited as fuck to do it because it'd been. We haven't been doing Thanksgiving with that cousin uh, the past couple of years. We haven't been able to get with them since probably before COVID even, and he's missed that fried turkey. So he, yeah, he I'm glad that he got to do it himself. New stew rug still shed. Yeah, our rug still shed. It ain't gonna stop shedding. I like yeah, it. No. Hey, but that rug's a trooper. It can take anything. Yeah, it can take. <laughs> <laughs> it can take anything. Oh man. Um, let's see. We do have some questions of the week. Yeah, this week. what do we got this week? We got questions of the week. Uh, if we got locked up, do you think that we could escape? What's our escape? I would plan? try to. If I was locked I up for what to. life, I would definitely. If we got locked up and we're cellmates, what 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 is your move to escape? What do you think? Can we come up with a plan? I, I know Jesus, that we could. Bro, I don't know what we do. Fuck. I know if we needed to, we could just charge. If we really needed to, we could easily probably escape. Charge. Nah. Run. Charge. Run. That's the problem. Don't People know. don't have go words. People don't have go don't words that, what like, when you say it, they know to go. If we said let's run it, and started running it, I don't. I don't think we'd have a problem. I think that we could. <laughs> At escape. least one of us would escape. <laughs> I think for sure. <laughs> Damn. You tell me full speed, we just start know, going bro. ham, throwing fuck. fucking nah, haymakers. You get no fuck. way. No nah, way. You get fucked. No way. Not yeah. with two of us. They throw you in the fucking hole. Two of us. We're in sync. Go crazy. They're in the used hole. to people that are going crazy and they're not in sync. Two of us in sync. I don't know. I'll You'd know. have to have a methodical ass plan to get out of there. So then you're trying to like you you think we could escape, but we would have to take dig our way out. Of planning or planning and like months of execution of getting the tools and shit to get it done and like building the connections and like. You might have changed my mind, then I might change my answer. I might not think we could escape. I don't man. know if we could. You think if you and escape. me were locked in a cell? I'm talking. Your bed's there. My bed's here. I'm posted up. We've been here for a month already, and you're like, I think. You're telling me that I'm going to be invested in anything you have to say? I'm done. I'm done. Done as fuck. <laughs> like, I'm done. Because, like, why? Like, a month in, I am may yeah, as well just stay that. here. Can we figure out how to run the podcast from here? Yeah. Like, People I'm have fun up. in there. I'm saying, so we yeah, can just do that. Actually. A month in, I'm not it's trying fun. to get out anymore. It's free rent at this point. Like, <laughs> yeah, you get food. We're over it. <laughs> not good food, nah. but <laughs> you gotta get that commissary shit. I think for it's real not though, that good either. They make that prison like. Have you seen them fools make that prison like shit with like the ramen shit? And, like, I've had it before. And they like 
Make that if you get somebody who's is. been to jail and they make it for you, that shit's good. Is it? It's good. Is it actually good? It's good. You tried no it? It's, it? No cap, it is good. Damn. And it impressed me because I was expecting it to be okay. Like, by like, okay, it's okay. Like, it's better than what you would have in there. And I get that you're making something out of nothing. It's better than like, you know, when people go and they add their little egg to their ramen and they're fucking, you know, they make their ramen their fucking top shelf shit. Yeah. It's better than any of that. Damn. It's like really good ramen. It's like, okay, bet. It's yeah. interesting, though. The shit that, like, they can come up with. Yeah, I know. And the way they cook that shit, it's crazy. I wouldn't last, though. Yeah. I don't That's why we need to that. escape. Yeah, fuck all <laughs> that. Escape. Catch me digging with a spork. <laughs> I'm <laughs> trying to get through. Carving out the window and shit. You, you don't think though, like with the uh, a distraction, like I get everybody nah, to look. Know. Hey, look over you there! Like and you, there's hella levels to get out of. It's not like just a cell to the outside walls and to the inside passages to get out. That's what I'm saying though. You train for a little bit to know the quickest yeah. way out, and then when it's time to go, you just the kid. Yeah, Shit. and because they would never expect. Two people to be in such unison. <laughs> I'm like, talking like, you know, they're sliding the door down and it's like, we got <laughs> maneuvers for that. I'll like we'll slingshot you, but I don't let go. So like, Damn. we just carry that momentum. Like, I, they're not expecting some fucking straight Power Rangers in that bitch. Like, I think we could get out. I think we could. We could. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you believe in good luck? I got a story for this one too. But I believe, believe so, luck? yeah. Okay, where do you think good luck comes from, or do you do you have any signs that stand out as good luck to you? Like you know, like uh, walking under a ladder is bad luck. Do you have any of those for good luck? Uh, synchronicities, I would just say, and just like parallels and shit. Yeah, parallels and shit, and then luck. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to describe. You could just be lucky in your own ways. Like, what do you even classify as luck, really? Okay. Okay. I usually, we've got a long list of all the questions you guys sit in that we pick from each episode, and I usually can keep this one off because, like, I didn't know if I believed in good luck or not. I just kind of believe in, like, luck, like bad luck, good luck. All of it's just kind of luck of the draw, mm -hmm. I guess, if that makes sense. But I saw a fallen star, dude. A what? A falling star. Falling star. Yeah, falling star. It wasn't star. a shooting star. No, falling. Like, Damn, it was falling. falling yeah. How do you know? I saw it. <laughs> what do you mean? I saw it fall. I was like, "What the fuck?" My bad eyesight and everything saw it fall. I was like, "Damn." Damn. Um, but I think it. I think it happens when they die, and then they like it's the gas like falling back down. Oh, really? But um. So anyway, looked it up immediately. It's a sign of good luck. I'm nice. like, start peeping around. I'm like, okay, where's my good luck? Yeah. I'm waiting for it. Where's my good luck? And uh, I was with uh someone special, and I was like. Is the good luck going to be, is it pertaining to this situation? Is it pertaining to the new stew situation? Is it pertaining to, it was over the holidays. So I was like, mm -hmm. are we just in the good luck right now? Like, I don't know. We can use the good luck though. Where is it? Um, and I don't know, like the past four or five days, ever since it happened, I've been like peeping and like, it's not, the vibe's not overly good, but like, there's a lot of stress that's come off the shoulders. Uh, last week, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they can tell us. Like, it was a heavy week. It was a hard yeah. week. And like, yeah, it's good to be back. Like, we were happy to be back in the suit. We were happy the week before to get out of the suit with Tammy and like all that shit. But like, I saw with Jordan just really hurt. Like, just brutal. And it's tough to get past that to do what we do sometimes. So you know, we do the best we can. But it's just like you know now this week you know it feels a lot better being here after the holidays and coming back to everything already set up and everything like that yeah. and uh i don't know that falling star might have changed my mind on good luck i might believe in some good luck now I'm yeah, like, all right man. carry a little bit of good luck yeah how often do false stars fall i now? haven't seen one personally but maybe i'll pay attention now i'm just thinking like now that i think about it there's so oh, many yeah. stars oh. in the sky, you know? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Hang, on. <laughs> Hang on. Cause I don't want <laughs> Hang on. I don't want to sit here and say I believe in good luck. <laughs> oh shit. 
You create your own luck, too. That's cap. I don't believe in good luck. I changed my answer. Um, we can, we can get to that last question. That's bullshit. One million shooting stars occur a day? A day? That's crazy. It's <laughs> very common. I can't yeah. even read that, bro. Yeah, that's I'm common, fucking cracking bro. up. I thought that shit was rare as fuck. Nah, no, I guess you just... The, the, <laughs> You just gotta I ain't never paint. seen that shit before, bro. Just, Been alive 25 years, never seen that shit. I haven't seen it either. Think about all the nights we used to go and just sit up on the mat up at, at the field and just look at the stars. Yeah. Never saw a falling one. Literally, yeah. <laughs> with around one million shooting stars occurring every day yeah. around the world. Jesus. How could that shit be lucky if one million of them occur every day? <laughs> That's not lucky. Shooting, I don't know. Can it really be luck? I, I just think it's been good vibes. Good vibes. Not nah, because of the falling star. <laughs> Fuck good luck. I don't believe Dang. that shit. I'm not saying you can't get good luck from other shit, but not with the falling I, star. This, uh, not if it's one million. Thing. One million a day? Yeah. That's that's like a uh, four four leaf clover, right? Yeah. yeah. They say it's good luck. Yeah. If there was one million of them outside, it wouldn't be very good luck then. I guess not. It couldn't be. <laughs> like it's not. No, I might still. I think I, it's my own, I think I over-anticipated the luck that came with the falling yeah. star. Yeah. They do stand for good luck, but I guess they just happen a lot more often than I thought. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't know how to word this because I want you to answer it wholeheartedly, honestly. I'm just not sure if me saying it this way is going to influence your decision. Why do we call gas gas if it's a liquid? It's not really a liquid. I'm not talking about that kind of gas. I'm talking about the gas that we put in our car. Uh, gas and the gas. It's not wow. It's totally a liquid. Yeah, I it's totally a liquid. In. Yeah, it's we blood, know blood, that. Blood, 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 blood. Yeah. So why is it? Gasoline. So it's just. Why do we shorten it to gas if it's straight up a liquid? Oh no. I feel like we should. We should come more prepared. We should. We should do research. We should have answers for these kind of you know, hard hitting, life changing the... questions. It's like, um, if you put like. This normal stuff in your car is it considered cargo, or like cargo and like a? Ship? What do we park in the driveway of a drive in the parkway? <laughs> it's that I don't type know. Shit. Yeah. Type shit. I don't know. It's the wordplay. Jeez. I feel like people do that kind of shit just because we can't. Yeah, people like to do that. Some people, I don't know. Yeah, we can't have anything That's just like regular. Joking scheme. They like to question shit. I guess. I just mean with the naming. Uh, they name it that way because they just, they can. Why not? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what's the difference in calling it a parkway versus a driveway? It really doesn't matter. But, like, yeah, I guess it would make more sense if we parked in the parkway. Probably not. It's a driveway. A park in the driveway. Because you're driving that way. No. Nah. Just <laughs> At least you're playing because I'm like, no. <laughs> you park up in the parkway. Hey, I park over there in the way. In the parkway. Which way? The park. Mm. Park in the park. Park in the parking spot. Why do we call the park a park? Because it's where they play. Yeah, because it's <laughs> where they play. It's not where they park. It's not where they park at nah, all. They, they, they can't drive. They're kids. <laughs> like, yeah, who you know knows? what I'm saying? Then we used to go to the playground. Park is like a stationary place. A stationary place. So any place that doesn't move. <laughs> yeah. Is a then park. Taco nah. Bell's a park. Nah. <laughs> like, let's go to the park. Nah. <laughs> let's go. I don't Calm know. Down. Whataburger is the best park there is. Yeah. But don't move. It is. Don't move. You nah. were in that line for from I'm last week it, to this I'm feeling week. it to this week. <laughs> It cracks me up. I think it, you said that about Whataburger, and then I've been noticing because we can see the line outside of our studio, yeah, we can see. and it's funny as shit. Every night this week, I have seen that shit. Eleven o'clock to twelve o'clock, there's a line. Is yeah, every night, every there night. is standard. 
Damn, it's still mad at Whataburger though because they, they got rid of that spicy, spicy honey butter. Because Jake cracked. <laughs> oh, we can't wrap up today. We can't wrap up. We got one more thing. What you got? We're mad mad. Why? This is much worse than the honey butter chicken. What? Biscuit. We are mad mad. Mad faces. Big mad at YouTube. What is going on, YouTube? Oh. Uh, Guys, we are a year and a half in. We are going into season four. We have figured a lot of shit out, and we're figuring new shit out every day. We do. One of the things we figured out a long, long time ago, one of the very first things we figured out was the song that you're about to hear in a second. That yeah. That outro. That outro. Our jazz tunes. Yeah. We love our jazz tunes. We do. We be humming that shit all the time. Mm -hmm. Road trips all the time. Yeah. But. YouTube. <laughs> As people like to do whenever you start doing good, they like to hate on your shit. And YouTube, I just want to take this second to personally ask you to quit hating on our shit. We fuck with you so heavy. We love you. You're one of the We're best platforms. You You're literally the one killing the game. Everybody's talking trash about Twitter. Everybody's talking trash about Facebook. Everybody's talking trash about TikTok and Instagram. Nobody has a problem with YouTube. I don't want to have a problem with YouTube. So don't YouTube. make me have a problem with YouTube, bro. Like... That's the outro song, and they fucking copyrighted, oh, claimed our fucking song that we've used for a year and a half, almost two years, and have the rights to use. What is that? Yeah, what is that, man? That's ass. Like I said, YouTube, you're a great platform, the best in my opinion, and I don't want to have a reason mm. to be mad at you, so don't give me a reason. Mm. Uh, please don't give me a reason. Uh... And to all you other guys, while we play this song, mm -hmm. our jazz tunes, mm -hmm. our jazz tunes that we're going to play, please check us out at Whiskey Sour Hour on all platforms. Links will be in the description down below, along with the spot to hop in the Discord. And also, please send in your questions, theories, comments, or concerns to whiskey at sourhourpod.com so that you can be featured on a later episode. We want to thank you guys so much for your time, and we hope it is much fun watching as we did making this week's episode. Oh, sorry, I was just listening. We'll yeah. catch you on Wednesday. Always remember, make it a double.